What's up you guys? Welcome back to the vlog. My name is Taylor if you are new here and we are in Charlotte, North Carolina this weekend for Love and Life Music Festival. So I kind of happened upon this music festival accidentally. I was like scrolling on TikTok several months ago at this point and they were advertising a music festival with Post Malone, Stevie Nicks, and Noah Kahan headlining and we saw it and we were like yeah, we, we want to go to that. And then I did some research and I applied to kind of work with them and do some content with them. So this video is sponsored by the festival, which is very exciting. Um, and now we're here and we're going to be hanging out here for the next three days, seeing some good music, doing a nice little local festival. I'm not really sure what to expect. But I am excited because I really am excited for the artists that we're seeing. So we drove in last night. We're staying at the Hilton Doubletree that is like right next to the festival location. And I'm very excited to be staying at the Doubletree because I've never had a Doubletree cookie before. And I've heard good things, so we'll definitely have to make sure that we're doing that at some point. But it is the Friday morning of the festival where we'll see uh, Dominic Fike and Post Malone are the two that we're like really excited to see today. So we're gonna go, I think, down to the festival. The doors open at 1. We're gonna go in and try and get the merch that we want, go eat lunch, come back here and get ready, and then go ahead to the festival around like four-ish I think. I'm pretty sure Dominic Fight goes on at like I want to say like seven-ish and then Post Malone goes on at 9 30 so we've got got some time so we're gonna make a little day out of it. Have a great time. So really really cool thing that's happening right now is that our bands will not scan. They got us into the original festival but then they will not scan through the VIP section. If we left and came back, they won't scan. They've issued us new ones. The new ones don't work either. So at this point, it took us 30 minutes to get inside, which is heinous at a festival this size. And then now we're just waiting. It's been nearly an hour since we've gotten in. I need to eat, my sugar's dropping, so that's cool and we just still don't have wristbands that work, so we can't do anything. I can't leave and come back and get ready like I was planning because I won't be able to get back in. So, this is at least strike one, strike two. Three strikes, you're probably out. I will say I'm now like very anxious. That was just not the way that I wanted to start this whole process. Like we were really just trying to like go down there. I have merch credits to use, so I was trying to like get merch to use the credits for some of the content that I've posted. It was part of what I got, so I was gonna use those. And just like not being able to get in. Then we got to like the VIP section and the VIP merch tent was not just VIP. There were lots of people going to it, which is annoying. And then like we tried to go into the actual VIP section and our wristbands wouldn't scan. And so just like sitting around, wasting time, me not being able to eat, like just was not good. And then for them to say they were gonna fix it and then just tell us to leave and that it should be fixed. And if we it re, we re-enter, it could still be the same problem, but it should be fine by the time we come back. Like I just, I don't know not the way I wanted to start this whole experience, I guess. I am dressed and ready to go. I showered, so feel a little bit better, but I am wearing this like denim corset top. I got it at Target. My little like black leather squirt came from Garage. My black cowboy boots on Amazon. I got this like 
little red Coca-Cola hat at Forever 21. My charm necklace that I got for St. Patrick's Day. My little like see-through bag, clear bag policy. So we're gonna hope that uh, the wristbands just work and life can be better moving forward. I have never felt better to see the color green. <laughs> I'm so glad. If you couldn't tell, the wristbands are fixed. So a little hiccup moving forward. back to our hotel room and we could drop off our merch and we got we got the double tree cookies and we're giving them a try for the first time they're very warm they feel gooey so I've been told that they're like a chocolate chip kind of cookie with walnuts a hint of cinnamon maybe oats I really don't know I know that there's walnuts in it so if you're allergic to nuts not for you but Mm. Oh, that's really good. Mm hmm. Mm, yeah. The walnuts are really good. Yeah, they are. Wow. For just being like a hotel cookie that came out of a drawer. I also just love being able to walk in and they're like, Can I help you? And it's like, Yeah, can I get two cookies? And they're like, Yeah, of course. It's awesome. Yeah. I think that I want to be a Double Tree uh, reward member and stay at more Double Trees so I can do more cookies. Cookies at the front desk. I think every hotel should have a snack. Yeah. It's the best hospitality move, I think. Yeah. Really Just like, good. like any given hotel, like maybe some have brownies. Maybe mm. some have like a house cheese it or something. I don't know. House whatever. cheese it, huh? Yeah. Hmm. beautiful, beautiful place. I used to date a girl from here. I did for a long time. She was beautiful. I miss her so much. I'm empty right now. I cannot feel a thing. I haven't felt anything in days. But it's good to be here. How you guys doing, man? So I'm going to play you like, uh, like an hour worth of music for a certain amount of money, and then I'll go home. Then I asked to have you...
It is hot. Yeah. <laughs> Be safe, drink a lot of water or beer. This next song is a song that I, uh, I wrote um, about staying up all night until the sun rises. And it's about morning. There was a lot of uh, people who didn't really fucking uh, believe in me, um, and I just wanted to say thank y'all so very much for believing. I just wanted to say, do whatever the fuck you want to do in this life. Yeah. Be your fucking self, because to be fucking fair with you, there's nobody fucking cooler than who the fuck you are. So keep fucking being yourself. Do whatever the fuck makes you happy. 
Express yourself. Live your life. Live your fucking dream. Live your dream. Be whoever the fuck you want to be and just keep fucking spreading love, ladies and gentlemen. Just keep fucking being we got that close to him first off I mean I know how we got that close to him but I didn't know it was possible to just like do that and then I just never have seen an act where they are like so clearly so happy to be doing it and so thankful that people like showed up to do it like it really feels like he just thinks that like people shouldn't show up for his tour and he would understand if they didn't he was just so happy the entire time. So like happy, just, so fun, low-key really talented. It was, he was just so smiling fun. The whole time yeah. And... He was just playing hit after hit. He's got a lot of really good music that just plays on the radio, so you just happen to know it, which is fun. And then at the end he came down and he walked around the whole pit and like talked to all of the people, and if you were not like on the barricade, he didn't have time for you really, but he did 
go around and talk to like everyone. For like 30 minutes. Like it was, yeah. it was a long time that he spent just like going around the barricade, taking pictures, signing stuff. Yeah, really, really nice. He very clearly cares about his fans, which is really, really sweet. He's very much a sweetheart kind of guy, which is really fun. Dominic Fike though? I think that there was like five people in the entire crowd that actually knew his music and we were two of them. The vibes were off. I felt really bad for him. He was kind of like doing self-depreciating humor, which is sad Yeah, he was, sad he for was him. clearly like flustered. Like he'd like, yeah. can you guys dance, please? Like I know you don't know the songs, but please. Yeah, yeah. it was really sad. I just, it's like we know your songs. We know all the words. Well, we're, we're your fans. We're just tucked kind of in the middle of the crowd because everybody is here waiting for Post Malone to come on, so. Yeah. After the wristband debacle was finished, the rest of the day, smooth sailing. My feet hurt so bad. I am ready to take a shower. I'm sweaty. It was like hot, hot today, like 85 degrees at least. Tomorrow is Stevie Nicks day. I don't really feel like there was really anyone else that we cared about tomorrow. And it's supposed to like thunderstorm. So I will be interested to see how the day actually pans out. But I don't think it will be quite the same as what we did today. Okay, it's honestly like 7 p.m. And we haven't done a ton today yet that I felt like was necessarily worth vlogging. So we slept in and then it was super like rainy and just very stormy this morning. So I door dashed us some donuts and they were really, really good. Mammoth of donuts. Like I feel like almost the size of my head kind of donuts, but really, really good. Cinnamon roll donut delicious the brown butter cake donut so good i haven't had my other ones yet but we will be trying them later we got them at the salty donut so if you've ever had the opportunity to try the salty donut i would recommend it they also had this like cereal milk cinnamon syrup that you could put in things and i put it in a matcha and it was really good actually so maybe give that a try i'm not a coffee person they had it like in a like a cinnamon cereal milk coffee latte kind of thing but i don't really drink coffee so that wasn't for me but in a matcha it was really good so we did that and then i had ordered some boots that i want to wear tomorrow at a Forever 21 in Charlotte. So we drove to pick those up, ate a little lunch, ran into Target because I needed more mascara, and then we've just been like hanging out here. It's really kind of gross outside today. So like we just didn't really want to just like be outside for the sake of being outside. So now things are starting to happen. There's some more like bands that are playing that we care to see. So we got ready and we're gonna go downstairs. I braided my front pieces. So hopefully if it does keep being like rainy and gross, they will just like stay and the rest of my hair can just like be out of my face. But I really like my outfit. I got this like black see-through crochet-ish dress from Target actually. Uh, and then I'm wearing this black necklace. I've got like a gold claw clip in my hair. These fun like big chunky earrings. I got these Ana Luisa earrings. They say good karma on both of them, which is really cute. Kind of Taylor Swift coated. Um, I got this belt at Target also. It's got like little stars and moons and then just my black cowboy boots. So, uh, tonight's night is Stevie Nicks. So a very like Stevie Nicks kind of outfit. I'm very excited to see. We looked at her uh, set list and a good bit of the stuff that she sings is just Fleetwood Mac stuff, which is like honestly what I want. So excited for that. So we're gonna go get some snacks, see some music, and I'll keep you updated. You can't
we had to change ourselves a little bit because it's a festival. Yeah. It has to be a little bit different. Okay, well, so we're just gonna sing a song about if anyone falls in love, it should be me or you. And that's that. not a political song, it was about a ridiculous thing that happened in Los Angeles on the Sunset Strip, to make a long story short. They got, everybody wanted to hang out, and the cops came and said, you can't hang out. And they said, like, well, we're not leaving, and they said, well, you have to leave. And if I had been there, I'd be going like, it's only 8 o'clock! I don't even get up until late in the morning! So anyway, it turned into a scuffle, and um, he wrote this fabulous song about it. So anyway, it's called, uh, For What It's Worth, For What It's Worth. and then we're probably going to see you again for a minute and we love you more than anything so awesome awesome she's a girl I believe that music is what heals everything. So turn up the music just as loud as you can do it and listen. It'll always, always come to your rescue. Thank you so much. Thank <laughs> you. 
They just needed to get started. I will be your bartender today. Cool. <coughs> <laughs> you breathed in the sugar juice. There you go. Thank you. Last night was so cool. It was so cool to see Stevie Nicks sing all the songs and luckily the rain held out until the encore. The encore poured. It was so bad. Like all of my eye makeup was like running down my eyes. I was able to like wipe it all off luckily. So not that big of a deal, but so much water. Like the encore videos may not be as good because I had to put my camera away because I was afraid it was gonna get wet and I was just using my phone. So uh, sorry if those are not good, but it was so much fun, such good vibes. Honestly, couldn't have asked for more. This, uh, the festival has not gotten a lot right and maybe we'll talk about that later, but the acts have been wonderful. So that is at least good. So today we're seeing the Beach Boys and then there's a couple people and then we're seeing Noah Kahan. So Noah Kahan is really what drew us here. When we were looking for Noah Kahan tickets, to go to the show in Cleveland, which was the closest show to us, it was gonna be like $400 just to get into the show for like a back lawn seat. And general admission tickets for this festival are cheaper than that. We were able to get VIP tickets, but regardless, just being at the festival itself is cheaper than going to Noah Kahan's actual show, which is wild. So we made friends on Post Malone night and they just texted us and they were like, we're at the barricade. We have spots for you if you wanna come and meet us. So we're going to go do that. We're gonna be right up close for the Beach Boys, probably just be posted there all day until we see Noah Kahan, which is very exciting. Uh, this morning we kind of just got up, went and ate some brunch got a little matcha at a local coffee shop, and now we're gonna go to the festival. It's like three o'clock now. NoCon doesn't go on until 9.30, so we'll be hanging out for quite a while, but I'll show you my outfit. So it's a bit dark in here, but you can at least get the gist of what I'm wearing. So I got this like little corset top at Free People. I thrifted my jean shorts. I've got this really cute like silver butterfly belt these like brown bikery kind of boots. Um, this I got at Forever 21. Pretty much all of my accessories except for my tortoise shell glasses are from Forever 21. My glasses are from Urban. And then I've just got my little like sweatery thing with a hood on it. It may rain, it may not. We're never really sure this weekend. So I've got that in case it is rainy. I'll have a little hood to put up, but this is the finished outfit and we are off to our final day.
just want to hear one. I wrote this song when I couldn't sell out a venue of five people, let alone however the fuck many of you guys are tonight. When I was starting out, a lot of old dudes told me I didn't have what it takes or that the industry would be too hard for me, and I remember that hurt me so bad, and it made me want to stop trying. Um, and uh, it's because of every single one of you guys that I pick up the guitar and write a song. So thank you. This is Young Bud, and I love you guys. Take care. Have a great night. Stay alive, try to lose all